Hey, I'm Jerry, a CalDigit brand ambassador. And in this video, we're going to cover the top 10 most frequently asked questions about this brand new CalDigit Thunderbolt 4 Element Hub. So let's get started. Number one, does the Element Hub work on a Thunderbolt 3 computer? Yes, the Element Hub will work just fine on a Thunderbolt 3 computer because both Thunderbolt 3 and 4 are 40 gigabit per second connections. Some PC makers do have limits on the number of displays or power that can work through Thunderbolt 3. For example, the Apple M1 MacBooks can only use a single display through Thunderbolt. So be sure to check with your PC maker for compatibility information. Number two, does the Element Hub work with the latest M1 Macs? Yes, the Element Hub is the perfect companion for your new M1 Mac. The only limitation is that Apple only allows a single external display through Thunderbolt at this time. This is a limitation from Apple and the M1 computers. Number three, can I use the Element Hub with the M1 Mac Mini since the Mac Mini provides its own power supply? Yes, you can. The Element Hub will not provide power to the Mac Mini because it's already powered. Number four, can I use the Element Hub with the TS3 Plus and does it matter where in the chain I put it? Good news, yes, the Element Hub can be daisy chained to the TS3 Plus or any dual port Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 device such as the TS3 Plus. You can either have it first or second in the chain. If you're going to be using the hubs to power your laptop, CalDigit does recommend to have the TS3 Plus directly connected first to the laptop since it provides more power for charging. Number five, I have a laptop with over 60 watts of charging. Will the Element Hub charge my laptop? The Element Hub will charge a laptop at up to 60 watts as the right balance between performance and heat for a device this size. If your laptop charges higher than 60 watts, the Element Hub will still charge just at a lower speed. And if you're doing intensive work, you can connect your original laptop charger or even a full-size CalDigit dock that offers 87 or 94 watts of power. Number six, can I use the Element Hub without a power supply? No, you can't. Beyond the 60 watts of power for a laptop, the Element Hub also provides an additional 15 watts for Thunderbolt devices and another seven and a half watts for USB, which requires the power supply. Number seven, if I'm charging a laptop, can I still charge USB devices? Yes, the Element Hub can charge a USB device at the same time as your laptop. The Element Hub can even continue to charge your USB devices when your laptop is not connected through offline charging. Number eight, how do I connect a monitor or display to the Element Hub? If your monitor is Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C, you can connect directly to the spare Thunderbolt ports on the Element Hub. If you wanna connect an HDMI or DisplayPort monitor, you can purchase a USB-C to HDMI or USB-C to DisplayPort adapter and connect it to the spare Thunderbolt ports. Or you can also daisy chain another CalDigit hub or dock like the Soho. Number nine, can I connect the LG 5K display to the Element Hub? Yes, the LG 5K monitor has Thunderbolt, so all you need to do is connect it to one of the existing Thunderbolt ports on the Element Hub and the monitor will start working. Number 10, what devices can I connect to the Thunderbolt ports on the Element Hub? You can connect any Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 4, USB 4, or USB-C devices to the Thunderbolt ports on the Element Hub. This includes, but is not limited to, external storage, eGPUs, docks, monitors, 10G Ethernet adapters, USB-C to SD card readers, and USB-C to Ethernet adapters. You can even daisy chain multiple Element Hubs together. So those are the 10 most frequently asked questions about the CalDigit Element Hub. If you have any additional questions about the Element Hub, please check the CalDigit website or contact CalDigit support. And you can find those links in the description below. Thanks for watching. And you can find more of my tech videos and reviews at youtube.com slash Jerry Schultz.